Imagine being a young woman in the United States, having just discovered the complexities and responsibilities of sexual health. You know that using contraceptives is vital, not only to prevent unintended pregnancies, but also to maintain overall reproductive health. However, the idea of visiting a doctor to get a prescription for birth control pills seems daunting, time-consuming, impossibly expensive. This scenario is not just a hypothetical situation. It's a reality for many young women today. But what if that could change? In a historic move, the Food and Drug Administration just approved a birth control pill called O-Pill to be sold without a prescription. This is a monumental step in expanding access to contraception, especially for young women, teenagers, and those who have difficulty dealing with the logistical and financial hurdles involved in obtaining a doctor's prescription. But how transformative will this move be in the long run? Opil, manufactured by the Dublin-based Perigo company, is set to become the most effective over-the-counter birth control method available, outperforming condoms, spermicides, and other non-prescription methods in preventing pregnancy. Scheduled to hit the shelves of stores and online retailers in the United States in early 2024, the cost of the medication remains unclear. However, Perigo has expressed its commitment to making Opil accessible and affordable to women and people of all ages. The approval of Opil marks the first time a non-prescription daily oral contraceptive will be an available option for millions of people in the United States. According to Dr. Patrizia Cavazzoni, director of the FDA's Center for Drug Evaluation and Research, when used as directed, daily oral contraception is safe and is expected to be more effective than currently available non-prescription contraceptive methods in preventing unintended pregnancy. However, the question remains, will this pill be affordable enough to make a real difference? The Affordable Care Act mandates health insurance plans to cover prescription contraception, but not over-the-counter methods. The situation has prompted states and the federal government to consider steps to require insurers to cover over-the-counter birth control. Despite these efforts, the cost of OPIL could still be a barrier for some, especially the uninsured and those with limited income. The price of this pill will be a significant factor in determining its overall impact on contraceptive accessibility and use. OPIL, also known as a mini pill, contains one hormone, progestin, unlike combination pills, which contain both progestin and estrogen. This composition has raised concerns about whether women with medical conditions that should preclude them from taking birth control pills, primarily breast cancer and undiagnosed vaginal bleeding, would heed the warnings and avoid the product. Similarly, there are questions about whether younger adolescents and people with limited literacy could follow the directions. Regardless of these concerns, the FDA and health experts believe that the benefits of making a birth control pill available without a prescription far outweigh the risks. The O-pill, identical to the prescription version, is 93% effective at preventing pregnancy with typical use. Several panelists have expressed that there is a pressing public health need for an over-the-counter option in a country where nearly half of all pregnancies are unintended. So, what does this approval mean for you? If you are a woman of reproductive age, especially one who finds it challenging to access prescription contraceptive pills, this could be a game changer. You might soon have an affordable, effective, and easily accessible birth control method at your fingertips. However, this milestone should also prompt us to reflect on broader issues. Despite this significant step, the fight for accessible and affordable contraception is far from over. The approval of over-the-counter birth control pills like O-Pill is just one part of a larger conversation about reproductive health and rights. As we celebrate this victory, let's also remember to continue advocating for comprehensive, affordable, and accessible reproductive health care for all.